Hey everyone, I hope you've had a great day so far and you're doing well. For this video, we'll be going through a unboxing of Alpha Wolf, uh, also known as Hunter Wolf, from the Zoids Build Them to Battle line, released by Hasbro and Takara Tommy. And for this particular version of Alpha Shadow, uh, through Hasbro, this was released in 2013. So, continuing on the Zoids series into the final three. Uh, so there'll be Alpha Shadow, there'll be Trike, and there will be a LIGO. And I'm also somewhat relieved that for the most part this does fit into frame. Um, so yes, I've gone through a few of these, um, hoping to wrap up the series. So um, here we have Alpha Shadow. Uh, so this is a wolf type. I'm actually quite enjoying the colours. I wasn't a huge wolf type fan for some of the Zoids kits, but uh, something about that blue does look quite nice. So we have the Alpha Shadow here, um, 60 pieces. A little bit of a view into the viewfinder of uh, what is um, included. So I think that's a bit of the head. I can see some claws, probably external armor for the head, and one of these little interesting uh, mechanic screw type things. In terms of the box, bottom's got nothing interesting. Side, and I keep falling for it. Just says Zoids, as does the top. And you have to remember, stuff is falling out from the bottom. And there we go, Alpha Shadow. And I will take a bet that the pilot's name is Apex. We'll find out soon. So, to the back of the box. So, there's the back. So, the completed Alpha Wolf, the parts needed to make the Alpha Wolf. And then we've got a nice combat of Alpha Wolf, and I suspect that is Ruin, which is interesting because Ruin is one size smaller. Uh, but it'll be interesting to see what the effect is for Alpha Wolf. So that's the box in terms of the insides, and I may have pre planned this. So, in terms of what's inside. So there is a booklet, I'm holding on to it, um, and then we obviously have the various parts, the battle map underneath, so what I will do is, there's an A, B, oh, might just be an A, B, the mechanical parts and the window piece. So I will get these pieces off the I'm going to set the run up, but that's not true. I'll get these plastic bags ready to go and we will have a better look at Alpha Wolf. Okay, so with everything now out of the box properly, so here we have the manual for Alpha Wolf. Uh, I will admit I quite like the graphic for this particular Zoid. And on the back, just a repeat of what we saw on the back of the box. Uh, going through the manual, so similar to what we've seen in the previous ones. Uh, different types of connections, matching the symbols to put everything together. Uh, and then the giant piece for the battery. So we we'll need a, a AAA battery for this. So bag A and the mechanical parts. So bag A will pretty much be an inner frame and like others there's some comic art uh, throughout the booklet so going through this and it is in full color which is always cool the comic art down there building what i dare say is a bit of the inner frame of the wolf and then bag b and a few more of the mechanic bags well, mechanic bag, uh, goes through the external armor. 
of Alpha Wolf. So that's pretty cool. More of those graphics throughout the booklet. That's up to 34 steps. And then the completed Alpha Wolf with its pilot apex. So there you go. Now that I've finally paid attention, now I know what the extra name in the box is. So that's pretty cool. So that's completed Alpha Wolf. And then the last page going through its, um, how do I say, its special weapon in action. So that's actually quite cool. Quite like that. So that was the booklet looking through the bag. So, as we saw, there's the A bag. It's a fairly large piece in there, like there's two large pieces, which is probably the majority of the uh, uh, in the frame. So, mainly in black and grey in those. Um, definitely some options to detail things, which is good, especially on that grey. Um, mechanical and then a sword kit there will always be some good details on it. So that's the airbag. The B bag, so this is your external parts mainly, so a lot of that nice blue, still got a bit of black in here, still got some grey slash silver as well. That's quite nice. And looking at some of that external armour, definitely some good opportunities to panel one. That's nice. Um, tanks, so nice pack for the battery, you have a half of half of wolf's top head, those special things, and there is Apex, so we can have a quick look at Apex. Definitely give them kudos for actually repainting these figures as opposed to keeping them in the one flat color. Um, so, repainted figures is actually honestly not that bad. It's actually quite surprisingly good, to be brutally honest. So, that was that one. And then, lastly, what we saw at the front of the box in the window so, of a claw. Head, external armor, and uh, one of those connector bits. And because I forgot it, we do like always have a battle mat, which I think is just the exact same mat anyway. So I don't think. Whilst I keep thinking they look different, I don't think they actually are different. That pretty much brings us to the end of the unboxing of Alpha Shadow. I'm actually surprised that there are less bags um, thus far. It'll be interesting to see what happens with uh, Liger and Truck. But um, I think Tanks and Ruin had um, A, B, and C bags. Um, but at the same time, I guess being a larger box, large kit, you can put a bit more into the A and B bags. Um, but it does feel like there's well and truly 60 or so parts in there to build this kit set. Either either. Synonymous really. Um, but yeah, I actually quite enjoyed looking at that Alpha Shadow. So be interesting to see how it builds when the time comes. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to leave a comment or a like. Uh, subscribe if you feel inclined to do so. Extra content can also be found on my Instagram, which is the same name as my YouTube channel. Thanks again for your support to help grow this channel. Stay safe and take care, and I will catch you all in the next video. See ya.